Welcome to a tutorial video on Bitsy6. In this video, I'm going to talk about animations. Avatar, tiles, sprites, and items all have their own animations. However, there's a limit within Bitsy when using animation, and that is two frames. There's also an additional constraint that they have to match the existing color palette that's used within that room. So we have constrained colors and only two frames to create an animation. Let's look at this, though. So over here in Bitsy, within the paint window, I have avatar selected. At the bottom, I'm going to click on animation. Notice it shows preview, frame 1, and frame 2. If I click on frame 2, then add a new square, it creates a small sort of beating heart idea because the, frame, because the dot does not exist in frame 1, but does exist in frame 2, and so moving between them creates an effect. And I could add multiple dots and it would blink back and forth, or take them away again. So, the animation for the avatar is limited to two frames, and I'll just leave the little beating heart for now, but two frames that move back and forth between them. So we have a two-frame animation for the avatar. Well, the same is actually true of tile moving down and clicking animation. We see tile has the same setup, and so it also can have an animation, and it affects all tiles with that name. In this case, tile A, which is used throughout this entire room. So, for an effect, I could have all of these blink by adding dots to frame 1 that don't exist in frame 2. And so it moves between this two frame animation. The same is also true of Sprite, which has its own animation, two frame animation. So we can add some eyes to the cat, which then blink at us back and forth. So, tiles and sprites have their own animation. Sprites, they're only limited to a new name, so if we wanted a different animation for sprites, we'd have to add a new sprite, recreate it, duplicate it, and then add a new animation to it. But the same is also true of item, which also has its own animation. So we can see animation for this as well, and add a new item, and see it blinking as well. So, the avatar, any tiles, any sprites, or any items all have their own animations. So, one way to approach this then is to set up an animation for avatar, if wanted, and then for different tiles, set up different animations, creating different effects that the user can then see. The same is also true of sprites, adding multiple sprites or duplicating sprites using the duplicate drawing option, and changing their animation. The same is also true of items. So we can add some greater visibility, some greater visual effects to Bitsy by using animation that's available to avatar, any tiles, any sprites, or any items, using their animation option at the bottom of the paint window to change their two-frame animation. Remembering, of course, that those are the constraints. We have two frames, and we can only work from the existing color palette, the background color, the tile color, or the sprite color, depending on the drawing item we're using. So, as a review of what I've just talked about, everything we can draw using the paint window in Bitsy has its own animation. This goes for the avatar, any tiles, any sprites, or any items. And we know, for example, with tiles, that any tiles sharing their names have the same animation. So if we did different animations for different tiles, we'd have to either duplicate them or create new tiles and add new animations, keeping in remembering that two frame and color set. This is the same with sprites or items. We can have different animation for different sprites, but we'd have to add new names and then add their sprites with those new animations to the room. And finally, the same with item. Thanks for watching.